All right, we're here for another match. Uh, unfortunately, this hand is not capable with only one land, so let's mull it. This one is also not capable. All right, well, five is good enough. Ugh, he's playing burn. That's horrible. All right, let's get off the mountain. Might be able to lightning bolt his uh, Kelder Marauders or something if he plays that on turn two. Mulling down to five against uh, Burn is never good. <laughs> oh, cool. He has a target for my Flame Slash. We're actually going to bolt him. Because next turn I'm Flame Slashing the Kiln, the Kiln Fiend regardless. Yeah, so it's Flame Slash the Kiln Fiend. Pass the turn. Next turn is likely a Squadron Hawk, I think. No, it's got to be a Core Sky Fisher. Or neither. I think I actually just uh, Skyfisher bouncing the mountain, replay it, and Galvanic Blast, Kiln Fiend. It sucks. I'd like to use this journey, but Kiln Fiend is really dangerous coming from a burn deck. <coughs> Okay, no chain lightning. Okay. He's using his burn spells on my dudes, I'm pretty happy. Alright, so let's squadron hawk get up get us up three hawks. Effectively nullify this mulligan to five. And ship the turn back. Only two cards in hand to me at 14 life. I feel pretty happy. Ooh, I didn't even, I didn't get to journey that guy. I think it's ah, oh, it's when he leaves too. So I will take the point of damage. Unfortunately, hmm. I think I'm actually gonna faithless loot. I'm looking for some life gain here. I can discard squadron hawks, or I can just discard these two lands that I don't need. Probably discard one squadron hawk and a mountain. Oh shoot, I meant to journey that Marauders. Oh well. Nope. I guess this hawk is chumping now. So what do I get for not thinking? <coughs> yep, just chump city for the hawk. Ooh, all right, well, <laughs> thankfully I'm not entirely punished because I get to journey the second Marauders. All right, life gain. Pretty sweet. All right, so let's journey the second Marauders. Play our last Squadron Hawk. and attack. Alright, so we're looking pretty good, I think. I still have to survive the next, you know, survive four cards that he has, or he's going to draw. And Journey to Nowhere is not helping that.
Wow, he's stagger shocking my dude. Alright. I guess it's a valid play. If he stagger shocks my, my other squadron, I'll be pretty happy. Yeah, these burn spells not coming at my face makes me really happy. Because I'm pretty sure I'd already be dead if he, if he was aiming them at my face. Wow, just end of turn fire blast, huh? Discard your hand, draw two cards, okay. L not an often seen card from Burn. Hmm. I think I'm going to end of turn lightning bolt him. I don't think the targets are getting much better now, especially since I have a journey for whatever else he plays. Alright, so Prism, hoping to draw a Skyfisher maybe? Yeah, Wellspring's okay too. Actually, Wellspring's not okay at all. We do have another Lightning Bolt though. We can even the playing field. Eat life for both of us. Doing it. Alright, Wellspring. Looking for, once again, Core Skyfisher. Alright, Boros Garrison lets me uh, bounce my crossroads, though, for some more life gain. I imagine the uh, reign of stagger shocks is incoming. Alright, so play the garrison, or play the crossroads rather, and then play this guardian of the guild pact. Put them on a full turn clock. I'm gonna need a little bit better than that though, for to be honest, to beat this deck. The fact that I've made it to turn 12 without dying is pretty good though. Feel extremely lucky in my opponent's lack of good draws against me. Pretty unlucky in my drawing a land there, though. Oh, I have a faithless looting. Shoot. I could have still been in this game. How did I not know that I had a faithless looting in the art? Alright, well, this is dead, I'm sure. And he finally got there. Uh, our, our hate cards are pretty simple to bring in here. We've got these Circle of Protection Reds. And we're probably just taking out Journeys. It's the only thing that's really reasonable to take out. I'll leave in one because, well, I only have three Circle of Protection Reds to bring in, so... And we did see, you know, Kiln Fiends and Keldon Marauders, so I don't imagine that he brings those out. I do want to play first. Alright, we have a Crossroads, we have two Circle Protection Reds, uh, not going to mulligan this for sure. Land the circle protection ready, should probably just scoop. Hmm. 
Yeah, let's just get it out there. Or so don't play Squadron Hawk or Skyfisher. Probably just Skyfisher bouncing the crossroads and replaying it. Get some uh, meaningful pressure on the board. at my, my little dude. Alright, now I guess I'll throw out the Squadron Hawk. Once again, I'm not under any real pressure, so we'll just grab a few Squadron Hawks and uh, you know, I don't have enough lane to do anything anyway, so. Searing Spear, alright. Is on the budget burn deck. Oh my god, can I just like draw a land now? No. Another Searing Spear, okay. That was a pretty good land to draw. Yeah, let's just play it. I'm not going to play another thing. I'm just going to leave up COP Red and just use it to nullify a spell of his. And we're just going to discard the extra COP Red. <laughs> Drew the third, like a boss. And now I think we're just going to leave up uh, Circle Protection Red for the rest of the game. Like, even if I have to discard, he's not casting more than four spells in a turn. I might be able to afford playing another uh, Squadron Hawk here, though. Wow. All right. Well, I wasn't expecting like triggery. Playing out the prism here, still leaving up COP red. Smelt. <laughs> Alright. I mean, I guess if you can't afford Smash the Smithereens. Um, he's only got two cards in his hand. I'm just going to throw out the other Squadron Rock. I'm going to loot away this journey in COP Red. Sure. Yeah, journey in Cop Red are just not doing it for me. Another lightning bolt. 
Yeah, I guess it's just getting this damage while he can. So Skyfisher comes out, bouncing a crossroads to replay it. Ooh, okay. Um Right, so he's definitely on just a budget version of Ray. He's playing Smelt into the Smash Smash the Smithereens. Like Smash the Smithereens I could see as a reasonable card to bring in to mess up my mana base or whatever, but Smelt just does nothing for him. And Electric Ray has got to be just awful. It's got to be worse than whatever card he could be bringing in. Or whatever card he took out to play that. Alright, well we've got the Copper Ed again. This is a free win. <laughs> so, we're going to use it. I'm actually going to lead off the Great Furnace too, in case he has the Smelt. I want to make sure that I have the white mana to cast Circle Protection around. It also gives me the option to Galvanic Blast, a uh, uh, troublesome turn two creature he has. Like he might be playing like Rakdos Shred Freak or something silly like that. Or Kiln Fiend. That looks like a perfect Galvanic Blast target to me. So get the copyright out and good game. Because I actually have the land supported this game. So let's play the Prophetic Prism. And we are going to uh, copper in this Rift Bolt. This turns off any uh, needle drops he has in his hand, unless he casts another burn spell. That also just prevents three damage, which is good. Skyfish is just bouncing in this prism. We'll replay it again next turn. No pressure here. I've got the copper IDs. Obviously just not going to do anything against me. Or flood out, I think. Alright, so Prism comes out again, drawing me an extra card. Boros Gears, not a bad draw. Like I said, I don't mind if he kills my guys, right? I've got the Squadron Hawks and the Guardians to come back from that. Like, him killing my guys does not bother me in one bit. Alright, so let's play Glint Hawk here. We're going to bounce the Prism, replay it with the Boros Garrison. See if we can draw... Um, and, you know, honestly, I should have actually played the second Prism first. See if we can draw a Kabir Crossroads. No crossroads. And so we have a useless journey. <laughs> Man, I only have one of each of these in this deck this time around. Alright, play another prism. I guess we're just going to attack with this Glint Hawk. And I think we're going to loot away these extra lands. I 
what is he doing here? Fire blasting me? All right, let's just cop red that. So looting. All right, yeah, we'll loot away the two mountains and play a bear crossroads. You know, I think my life total is actually just safe enough that I can just play a second prism. But 22 life, he's got three cards in hand. It's really just not too much he can do to me here. At the very least, this will cause him to empty out his hand and I'll know what to do. Ooh, that's a good one. Hey, not really. It's I'm just gonna journey it or whatever. But actually, we'll flame slash that one. Most u most efficient use of the mana, because otherwise I just circle protection red it. Says, uh, my deck seems to be his worst nightmare. Like, no, the circle of protection red is really just your worst nightmare. Um, oh, doo -doo -doo. okay, so we're doing now that we're distracted. Okay, um. Yes, yeah, so the second squadron hawk comes in. We're going to flame slash the marauders. And attack the flint hawk. Oh, <laughs> uh, well. Another like trickery is. Uh, Kind of surprising. All right, sure. Yeah, we're just gonna play out another squadron hawk. I'd like to end this game tonight. No. Do I have all my squadron hawks? Yeah, you killed two of them just now. Ooh, Bone Splitter's a good one. That's a really good one for closing out games. So he's on a four turn clock. Oh. Oh my god, he has the last electricery. Never mind, I guess we're just uh <laughs> Alright, I have I have a looting in the yard. I can get to another wind con fast. Yeah, I'll circle protection red that. Yeah, we're just going to loot. Discard, planes, and journey. I'm um, pretty close to just being able to burn them out here. <laughs> uh, 4, 7, 10, 13. So, yeah, I just need another burn spell. The circle of protection red is not what I'm looking for. Alright, well spring can help me get to a win con. Glint Hawk is a win con. Uh, 
Um, and we're just going to hang on to this Great Furnace. We're going to leave open two mana for Circle Protection. If I draw another looting, I can loot away the Circle Protection Red and the Great Furnace. If I hit him with the Squadron Hawk, he's just he's dead to the burn and burn this in my hand. So we'll see if I get to hit him with the Squadron Hawk. Nope, stagger shocked. Okay. So then we go on plan B of finding another win con. Alright, there's the faithless looting that I was talking about. Discarding copper and the great furnace. Play the career crossroads. And uh, yeah, we'll just leave open copper red mana. And we are going to definitely just block this. He might have needle drops in his hand that he hasn't been able to use at all. So I guess we'll find out if he uses the needle drops here in response to the Keldon Marauder trigger. Actually, I'm just going to block that. Just circle protection right it. Just maintaining his needle drops dead if that's what he has in his hand. No. Okay, it's one lava spike. That's not too worrisome. Alright, Wellspring. Got to keep in mind, too, that I have this Faithless Looting in the yard that I can loot away another land. Skyfisher is not a land. Yay! Uh, we're just going to bounce the Wellspring. I don't need the life gain anymore at this point. I just need to eventually kill him. It's going to pass the turn with uh, two of the mana for Copperhead. Use one of it on Marauder and one of it on a spell. Alright, well. Unfortunately, Mr. Skyfisher met a fire blast. Decides to stop wasting my time now. Alright. Thanks for watching.